Hey guys, I'm Ray. And I'm Jason. And today we are exploring Kingston, New York. And we are obviously taking you along. The only thing we have on the books today is a river cruise yep. of the Hudson. We are not taking that. That would be really cool, but no. After the cruise, we don't really have any plans, so you're just gonna have to come along and explore with us. Yes, and let's go get on the boat because once again, we are last in line. finished our Hudson River cruise uh, aboard the Rip Van Winkle and it was very informative. I really love this area. Um, it's probably my favorite river so far. Yes, out of all the U.S. rivers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean I think it's pretty. I like it. Jason's definitely liking the area a little bit more than I am. Yeah. I think I'm learning that I really like wide open spaces so I'm getting a little homesick for the West Coast but there is definitely a unique beauty in the East Coast with all of the trees and the water and stuff like that. Yeah, the Hudson River is a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. We we're kind of on like this little inlet thing and I was like, oh, this is cool. It's like the size of, I don't know, the Colorado River probably. Mm -hmm. And then this is just nothing. We pull out into the Hudson and it's massive. That was really cool. I mean, I think the Mississippi is bigger, but like, it just feels dirtier. And so the Hudson River just felt like cleanish water. Like I would go swimming in there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so this little town of Kingston we're learning is very cute and there's a lot of history behind it. We did have a hard time hearing the narrator on our boat cruise. So I want to find a l out a little bit more about Kingston. So we are going to go try and find some food and learn some history. So let's go. Savona's. Savona's? Trattatori. Trattatori, yeah. Anyway, we discovered that Kingston in 1777 was the capital of New York State. And in that same year, the British came through and quite literally burned it down. And they celebrate the burning every other year with a reenactment. And it starts right down here in Rondout Circle. So if you like reenactments, that might be your jam because the next time they're doing it is 2019. For you pyro fans out there, this is, uh, I mean, how do they reenact it? I don't know. They said it was a theatrical thing. Okay. Oh yeah, that's another thing we noticed on the way down here was there's all these 
signs on the side of the road saying that you're on the Kingston burning route. So if you do want to just drive the route that the British took and burn down the city, you could do that too. If the fire is your thing, I think Kingston is like the place for the pyros. Okay, can I eat my salad now? So we finished dinner and we walked around this beautiful Kingston waterfront. It's actually pretty nice. Like mostly hills though, so I should probably do something about that. <laughs> do something about those hills, please, Kingston. Yeah. It's been a couple hundred years since you guys were built and you haven't figured out that walking uphill is not the best. Next time. Next time you burn down. <laughs> Next time uh, you burn <laughs> down, please rebuild without hills. <laughs> so our dinner wasn't that great which is unfortunate because that place had really good reviews but speaking of dinner we actually did want to thank two of our viewers Jeff and Lori for having us over for dinner the other night they are the first people to ever recognize us out and about so that was really cool we got to the campground that we are staying in this week and they walked by and they said, hi Ray, hi Jason. And we were setting up so we didn't like think too much of it. But then later Jason walked up to me and he's like, did they just say our names? I was like, I think they did. So we found them later that evening on a walk with Carmen. And of course we asked them, how do you know our names? Like, do you watch our YouTube channel? And they said, yeah, of course. Like we actually didn't want to bug you because we thought you would, be bombarded with people doing that and no if anyone else out there thinks that that does not happen obviously Jeff and Lori were the first couple to ever approach us and say hi and say that they recognized us from YouTube so that Feel was free to uh to say hi if you see us yeah definitely say hi you don't have to have us over for dinner but you know <laughs> you could yeah it was really cool it was kind of a surreal experience to have been on the road for a year and putting out videos for almost a year. I think September, October is when we put out our first video, but it was fun. It was a cool experience and they were excited about it, but I think we were even more excited about it that yep. someone recognized us. So a sincere thank you to you both for having us over for dinner and we are so excited for you to start your full-time journey we cannot wait to follow along that as well so again thank you thank you thank you so the last thing that we discovered about this kingston waterfront is that there is a dutch influence from the original dutch explorers so as you can tell with these buildings behind us that Dutch influence is still here today. Yes, and it's beautiful. You definitely get the old-timey feel here. I feel bad about, you know, talking smack about the Hudson earlier. This is definitely a very cute little town just riddled with history. Mm -hmm. And I think, I mean, we're kind of just discovering that everywhere we go on the East Coast, it is just riddled with history. I think almost every single town has a historical plaque about something that happened there. We are definitely getting our history lessons as we travel the East Coast. This is our last night in the Kingston area. We are gonna get ready to go home for the evening, get the RV ready because we wanna leave bright and early for our journey tomorrow. We're traveling about another 200 miles north. So, have you ever been up and down the Hudson River? We would like to know, so comment down below. Yes, and what other fun facts do you know about the Kingston area that we did not discover yeah. in our afternoon here? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys. recording